Welcome, Paul Turan, to Mad Markets. Thank you so much for joining hey. us. What stuck out for you there? About well, Cape Town. Yes, Cape Town. Mayor Patricia De Lille kindly joining us today. Cape That's Town's well. a fabulous place. They yeah. should all be so lucky to live there. Do you and think the uh, two women mayors have actually given Cape Town the, the edge, would you say? Or not? Yeah, it's got to be something to do with it. That and the mountain. <laughs> of course, we can't forget <laughs> about the mountain. So how do you feel today? And S the ocean. And the ocean. <laughs> S&P being downgraded, downgrading the US for the first time in history. Ah. 1917, they came out with the AAA rating and for the first time in history, downgrading to A+. Plus with a negative outlook. Yeah, not happy news. And, you know, guys like yourselves that have been uh, saying this thing could happen, I was laughing it off for the last two years. Yeah. So I've got to, uh, you know, apologize are you licking, for that. Are you licking your wounds today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am very disappointed in the market reaction. I'm not disappointed in the news. And I certainly don't believe in this kind of shoot the messenger type of reaction. Because, you know, S&P were indicating that they were anxious about the politics that we saw around the raising of the debt ceiling. And you can't wish that away. So I don't think there's any short-term concern about uh, the U.S. Treasury meeting its obligations. Yeah. But certainly the trajectory that they're on didn't look all that reassuring. The market reaction, though, I think is interesting because there's definitely been some, you know, risk aversion out there. At some point, the long-only institutional managers are going to come in and start buying the dip. But that clearly yeah. isn't the case yet. Okay, what's fascinating to note that, we, yes, we saw this knee-jerk reaction. What more bad news could come to the fore that will warrant even more of a sell-off? And from the rhetoric I've heard from the guests I've had on Closing Bell today mm. is downgrades coming to the fore in Europe. And it seems that is probably a bigger worry than the U.S. could possibly be down the line. Do you agree with that? Yeah, you know, I mean, I heard you asking that question. Of course, one can answer that. There are plenty of things that could still go wrong. We yeah. could have an alien invasion, you know, and we could have... Uh, you know, That's the earth's crust for. falling off. <laughs> or, you know, I, I mean. think a downgrade for the UK <laughs> and for other Eurozone countries might actually be more of a possibility than an alien invasion. <laughs> well, but, but I think those things could happen. Yeah. Although, you know, where we are right now, I think people are already, you know, pricing in a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. and they've rushed to safety. So that's why we've seen a buying of US Treasuries today, not just setting the okay. downgrade. Paul, I so I think the flight to safety has happened. I don't think, you know, that that necessarily means it can't happen more, but... Okay, Paul, I thought we were expecting a, a downgrade of the U.S. states, and I actually thought we didn't really care what U.S. What, what credit ratings agencies had to say. And today really proves the opposite, that we, we actually didn't expect a downgrade. And we do actually take very much cognizance of what the credit ratings agencies are doing. And certainly if you listen to the U.S. channel, there are a lot of people who are talking about we've been downgraded, you know. What do they think about us now? You know, there's a lot of sort of personalised... And there's a sense that uh, Americans that are involved with markets are feeling quite upset about this and how the world is not accepting their, you know, reputation as it had been so blemish-free up till now. But, you know, that's the way the world is, it's the way things are unfolding. But you still have to decide what you're going to do with your long-term savings. So you're going to park those in government bonds or in cash or in other government okay. bonds, or you're going to look at long-term equity I holdings. saw you on Twitter today saying that you, you gave a message to your clients, yes. do not panic. What are clients telling you right now? What are the phone calls that you're getting? Are you getting close off well, my positions? Or are you saying, great, opportunity to buy, here's some new money, go for it? Look, on Friday, we actually did a lot of buying because there were people that were still concentrating. Today, I don't know, it was like talking into a vacuum. It's <laughs> like, in this country, if you have a Tuesday public holiday, the Monday is gone. I'm sure you told them nothing bad could asleep. happen over the weekend. So they well, woke the up this morning going, cool, you got it wrong was, you know, just keep your head down. So I think most of them were reading the email and saying, I definitely can't call that guy, otherwise he's going to shout at me. Okay, so uh, very quickly, uh, Lions. Alliance? Li li lions. Oh, lions. Lions. Oh, the joke here was that in the Curry Cup rugby, if you're interested in that sort of thing, yeah. red is the colour of the moment, the Lions are on top of the log, and the blue team from Pretoria, they're at the bottom, but in stock market, Routine? unfortunately, what is that? the Bulls, oh, oh, you know, the oh, Bulls. Yes. No, I've never, no ever, you've got ever, promise. Ever I think you them. could become <laughs> a rugby fan in due course. No, I'm definitely a fan of the Lions. I've got to, I was just saying, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Paul Turan. Much appreciated for your time. See Great you to have you Tuesday. on the program.